Uncle Wally. Well, it's been nearly a third of a year since Joel invented me and... Wait a minute. That's right, Joel invented me. My experiences are simulated. I don't even have an Uncle Wally. Dear, to whom it may concern. Well, it's been nearly four months since Joel invented me and... Even though he didn't give me working arms, luckily I can type with my feet. I thought it was about time to write and let you know how things have been hanging here on the satellite of love. Looking forward to my first trip to Earth, let's face it, dehydrated mango juice just isn't the same, especially when you have to rub it on yourself. But I have to face facts, a trip to Earth is a long way down the line. Just yesterday, we were talking to the evil scientist who trapped us here, and I was surprised to find out that... Perhaps... You're right, Servo, we never looked at it that way. You know, that little bucket of diodes is really onto something. Yes, and as you can see, it'd be completely to your benefit to bring us back to Earth. Sure, you'd have that airheaded white guy smiling up the place, but look at the bright side. You'd also have me and my ever-present bevy of babes at your side. We could do the carnival circuit. He's right, and with Servo's artificial intelligence, we could... We could do the ventriloquist act without ever moving our lips. That's right. Great idea. Servo, tell the guys to be ready to return to Earth at 12 p.m. tomorrow. Hi, Servo. Hello. Oh, hello, dickweeds. Hey, Earhart, is that your head or did your neck blow a bubble? <laughs> Why, you little... And Forrester, I saw you with your date last night. She had lovely hoofs. Now, just a minute. Cool it, Crow, you're blowing it. It's all off, Servo. Your little golden buddy blew it for you. That's right, and you can expect a boring football movie to boot. And it stars, among other non-talent actors, Dick Butkus. 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 But kiss. But kiss. But kiss. As you can see, I am surrounded by incompetence, gentle readers. Oh, well. In the words of the mortal Joel Hodson, movie sign! In five days, this gigantic Superdome will be the site of the ultimate game, the Super Bowl. 82 million people will see the game on TV. What they won't see is the carnival which precedes it. Idiotic. Clifton Davis from... Eddie's brother. The White Shadow. Ken Howard. The White Shadow Shadow. That kind of looks like you, Servo. Like bad. The hell of a man. There's an ominous foreboding in this music. Yes. I wonder if Eleanor Donahue, Billy Gray, and Lauren Chapin are in this as well. Bubba Smith. I don't think he's made a bad film. Dick, on the other hand. They'll probably just cancel each other out. 
in Hollywood limbo for three hours. If this is how they got to print those tickets, it's going to take forever. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super, Super, Super Bowl. There's Bubba. Bubba who? Bubba Lou. Well, I'll be the pleasure around here, Bubba Louie. That was a good one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did these guys fly in on SST death flight? I don't want Einstein out there. I want a bunch of animals. I thought Socrates said that. Oh, he said Jesus was a great man, all right, but I don't want him starting to tackle. Thanks, Rita. You're welcome, Mr. I resent that. Mr. McCauley. After what we've been through together, you're still going to call me Mr. McCauley? Mile High Club. What have we been through? Three hours on this plane, isn't that enough? Are you telling me the Cougars all-pro quarterback is afraid of flying? Shh, you'll ruin my image. Hey, McCauley, come on, the press is waiting He's for you. He's Yeah, I'm coming. Party's in my suite, Royal Sinesta Hotel, 7 o'clock. Okay. He's got deep face cracks. Great. Coach tells me, watch the game film so you know... Hey, if this is the movie that got him the magnum part... The like that is a whole of it. I don't think he's gonna like the penalties. Look this. Uh-oh. Hey, wait, that's that Alex Karras. Because when we go out on that field, we're not doing it for ourselves. We're doing it for the team. Big sloppy paycheck. The coach. And most of all, for the people who made this game what it is today. Our the agents. Mafia. Welcome to New Orleans, Mr. Shelley. Still running well, the from the line. Was 12 seats on a 50-yard line. The you said why? Top secret. Maybe it's the Russians. Give it to Collins. He loves intrigue. What else? Let me check my list. We got you this car. You seem to be taking it for granted. I don't like the way he ties his tie. He doesn't need a bib then. Big tie, bad guy. Don't know why. You're at it. Gary Coleman. In the case. Mike, you're due at the Superdome at 1230. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. But didn't anybody ever tell you it's bad luck to come to New Orleans without having some of Ernie's catfish? Come on, we'll make it on time. I don't know. Catfish gives you gas, David. Oh, it's his messed up teenage daughter. No, it's his messed up teenage wife. And her car is messed up. Oh, that'll help. Let's look at it a while. All right, what's next? Well, I think you should eat the food. Ball. That can't be good news. Neither is this. He's really Great boozing it up. Howard is off. Mrs. Benelli wants to talk to you about it. She said why? Doug Collins has been telling her, the board, and everyone who will listen. We have too many black ball players on the team. He says it's going to hurt us at the box well, Besides being an idiot, Doug Collins is the business coordinator, not the general manager, unless there's been a change I don't know about. Excuse me. I hate to interrupt your lunch, but I'm in a bit of a mess. My rent-a-car threw a rod. The, the telephone in there seems to eat nickels for lunch, and I'm supposed to have been in New Orleans an hour ago. Any help you could offer would be greatly appreciated. Enter Donna Mills. Have a slab of catfish. Sit down and have some catfish. Will that help? Oh, I, I, I. Won't hurt you. Sit down. What a smooth move. I'm Laney Wiley. I bet right. she is. Laney Wiley. That's a very nice name. This but George butt out. Says he. I know. Out. He's my Shelley, man. General manager of the Cougars. Gray Ford or sedan. License plate three two six five Y. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Shelley, you drive too fast. You've been following. What? I'm a reporter. I'm doing a story behind the scenes of the big game. Oh. But my paper doesn't seem to have enough clout to get me a press pass. So I thought Mike Shelley might just be my man. She said a mouthful. Well, you come by my office at he the He hasn't dome gotten a lot of pass. food in his mouth. See, you are my man. Here, uh... Some catfish here. I don't need that. That's a mistake. Oh, wow. I like a woman who's not afraid to get her fingers greasy. Yeah. Ew. Like a 
like I told them at the clients' meeting last week. They went on and on about these brilliant young guys working with Wells Bridge Agency, you know. I'm getting nauseous. Geniuses like that with our agents. Oh, I get on the IMAX. Right as long as Chip Green keeps producing. Hey, the laundry's done. I appreciate your confidence, George. Yeah. Hey, hey. Uncle Bud, yes, we treat the confidence to be mud. Jim McCauley, the Cougar quarterback? Yeah, no, that's right. That's the Someday man. There will be black. I mean, it's a natural, too. With your contacts, and you used to play ball at his university. But that was 100 years ago. Besides, McCauley's exclusive with Livingston and Marsh. That contract is up in June, F-I-N-I. Whoa. George, McCauley's, uh, he's the hottest name in sports. He's another O.J. Simpson, a name it. Every account hunter in town is going to be after him. Now, wait a minute, Chief. To run through an airport if in pantyhose? Let me know right now. We'll give one of the youngsters a shot, eh? Oh, I'll go after McCauley, George. I'll go after him. Chip, look, why don't I lay it out straight for you? The heat is on. I mean, I don't need somebody to go after McCauley. I need somebody to get him. Dad! Tell me, man. Come and get to New Orleans. You and Mr. Belmer should come and take a look. Great! Come on, come on, Jeff. You two go ahead. I'll get them. All right, all right. Mr. Belmer. Hey, Look, Betty, it's a bridge. Cougars, where? <laughs> Behind the plant. It's a hotel for luggage. I don't know. It's got to stay somewhere. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Mrs. Walecki checked in here. Let me check. White chat, always looking I'm looking for, for my all black high school basketball team, and this might be the place, although it's the no, wrong sir, network. Are there any messages from her? No, sir. You sure? And Dave will like him with the Cougars. Well, maybe one. Sorry, Get out of town. Thank you. be the last we're going to see of her, huh? I hope not. Excuse me. Yes, yes, ma'am. Are there any messages for Laney Wiley? Wait a minute. Don't look up. Read it out loud. Hello, sweetheart. I'm Pete Brooks. What's your name? Here. Well, thank you, Pete. My name's Laney. Well, Laney, you've been selected social director for the Cougars. How's that sound to you? Laney, Laney. Not bad. All right. When do I start? Lay it right off. Now. Come on. Big breath, baby. That's good. Just settle down. Sure. <laughs> Brother man, you gonna show me yourself Sunday? Oh no, man, sure. my day's come and gone. I'm just a plain old businessman now, PK Jackson, merchandising and promotions. And if you're ever in Beverly Hills, you come and look me up, you hear? We'll do. Go buy the Superdome, PK? No, not this time, brother. If I was you, I wouldn't sell it either. You could get busted. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, brother. Come on, baby. It's nice of him to rap with about. his. Hello, That's brother. P.K. Jackson, brother. Best wide receiver the Cougars ever had. All pro four years straight. Don't look like he's doing too bad now, either. <laughs> what railroad did these guys get hired off of? The presidential suite. Yeah. I hope that it meets with your approval. It's so realistic. Yes, this'll do just fine. Just fine. 
Uh, listen, my friend, I'm going to be giving a bit of a soiree here this Friday night. You know, big bash for a group of my friends, ball players, their wives, and politicians, a couple of hundred people. The hotel has excellent catering facilities. Ce n'est pas nécessaire, mon ami. With all due respect, I've rented Brennan's for the evening. But you can help. I will be needing a really fine livery service for my guests. You think you can handle that? I'm sure that we can make the arrangements. Delivery service? And if there's anything else, yeah. he's got a pony. Yeah. Just in case anybody gets pregnant. I need some affection. I think they want to be alone. I need a little affection, too. We got work to do. Don't look at me. No, it can't. Don't look at me. It doesn't wasn't. work on guys. Don't worry. Sonny, it's all on the line this time. We came down here to do a job. If we don't get it done... Someone's in the kitchen with Jerry. We're dead. Got that? Nighttime. New Orleans. It's a big town. Lots of people walking up and down the streets. Thinking about football. Wondering where Alex Karras is. Reaching for guns, checking for ammo. Looking outside. Spying on Charlie's Was dial a prayer. Some messenger from New York. They just wanted to let me know that they've got ten million dollars riding on the ranges. Ten million dollars? PK, that's heavy bread. Hey, don't tell me that's heavy bread. I know it's heavy it's bread. Heavy I know what ten million it's dollars all wheat. is, and I'm responsible for it. I gotta see to it that they don't lose it. You understand? That's how I pay my bills. That's how I pay for you. Oh. That was probably a dumb thing to say. Just a hunch. Baby, you know I didn't mean it. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Now punch him. And that was a dumb way to respond. Headbutt. I love you. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Four days to Super Bowl. And New Orleans is like a time bomb about to go off. Oh. As the countdown to kick off nears. Hmm. This town is well to its limits. Its famous southern charm buried under acres of rabid fans. Yeah. Close to half a million people will descend on this lovely Delta city, pouring in from all over the world. Walls of people will spill out of terminals and crowd into streets. And spit on Countable each other. Millions of dollars will be spent, wagered, and wasted. This Big is life in the fast lane. Throw out your clocks. And given the street performers. The game may be My more days off, but the party has started. Some fans may have come to watch a game, but most of these people have come to play a game of their own. The rush has just started, but from here on, watch out. Super Tony, 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 come back, come back. Uh, Mardi Gras Bowl. Festival, which will make Mardi Gras look like a high school homecoming. Oh. As the countdown goes on, Bill Jameson, the Rangers what all high school? cornerback, Can you reach those knobs? That changed the point spread from the Cougars My by biggest three concern is the big the knob in the middle. Four and a half. That point <laughs> spread, or... I don't understand that. The Cougars are favored by four and a half. So if you bet on the Cougars, they got to win by at least five points. If they win by four, or less, or lose, you lose the bet. Let's drink hey, on Marty. it. Marty. Marty. Yeah? 
Give me 200 on the Cougars by four. Got it. Marty, don't get too much action on the Cougars. Call Chicago, see if you can lay off 20,000 on the Rangers in three. I think I'm going to get juiced as long as we're back here. Can I get you something? Couldn't we just set up a meet? Do you have any of those little cocktail weenies? Nothing means more Vienna? than money. Joel does. Look, I make a lot of house payments on Vienna the work sausage? I get with Livingston and Marsh. I'm not going to get them mad at me by yanking their number one superstar. No. Look, Nobody wants to yank money. the number one superstar. On Don't OD on the gumbo, and you'll come out of New Orleans a winner. Hmm. Jack, I want to talk to you. But Mr. Weber, at least let me make a presentation. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to run. Thanks for the drink, yeah? Honey, you take his he has the flu. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Two pavilion take tickets. I don't even have a hotel room. I've been sleeping on the bar the last three nights. Nice. Sport code. There was a big run on Ray on that year. Joel, 50 bucks, two to one on the Cougars. Sounds yes. good. All right. I'll even give you three points. I do. I wasn't sure you were coming. Yeah, uh... Well, I... I wasn't sure if I should. I'm glad you're here. I missed you, Nance. How's the knee? Is it still hurting? It's fine. It's in the car. The trainer's been giving me some treatment for it. I'll be out there on Sunday. It's a Super Bowl, Nance. We finally made it. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, we finally made it. But our marriage oh, didn't, Ken. I, uh... I went to see a doctor, Dave. What's wrong? I'm pregnant. Uh, it's not that kind of a doctor. He's a, he's a psychologist. Dr. Goldman recommended him. I'm still pregnant. So you shrink? What for? What did you talk to him about? I want to be smaller. A lot of things. I, uh, I asked him if he thought I was attractive, and uh, he me. asked me why I wanted to know. And I said, well, I'm 32 years old, and my husband doesn't want me anymore. Isn't true. Who is he? I'll go beat him up. Dave, do you know how long it's been since we made love? It's a season, Nance. Don't remind me. It's been my rough. knee. Women it's weaken some... the knees. It's a well-known fact. We go someplace. Be together for a while. It isn't the season, Dave. We used to laugh and have a lot of fun. Now we don't even talk to each other anymore. What do you call this? I watch you grow farther and farther dialogue. away from me. You sink Not deeper good into dialogue. some place where I can't follow. Not good acting. I watch you crawl out of bed, the pain so bad that you can hardly keep from crying. You shoot yourself full of drugs so you can keep playing the game. And I go like it's a bad thing. your money to, to tell me that I'm attractive. Nancy. Hit her. Near. I love you. Not. Then why are we losing This would fall into the category of plot facets we don't care about. His head explodes it. later. God, you should be on top of the world. But you and on top of her. Side. Do you want out, Dave? I mean, is that it? Uh, do you not want to be married anymore? To the door. Good idea to bring the football team in. I think we got enough for a scrimmage. Nice chest hair. We're all going to Bourbon Street. I told the boys I'd show them some of the good spots. Why don't you come with us? No, uh. No, I'm a little tired. I think I'm going to go ahead and give you a bar stud. You know, but you go have a good time. Wow, turning down a whole pile of guys like that. Brubar, 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 brubar. On the mirror, on the mirror, on the mirror, on the mirror. She's hurting. She's acting. She's hurting us. Oh, good. More David acting. Jansen dialogue. Hey, Crow, do your David Jansen impression. Ah, uh, David Jansen, my job. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, listen, looks like my car. Want a lift? <laughs>
You are hard to get rid of, kid. Can I have the keys? Where are we going? You'll see. They're going to Snack Canyon. Yeah, gonna go to Snack Canyon, yeah. It's a good idea, yeah, yeah. That's a keeper. Mm -hmm. Looks watch, like it fell watch. off an ox's nose. Does it take your mask? Oh. Mm -hmm. What? What? That I'm taking you to dinner? Can you afford it? No. I can afford it. You might even learn to enjoy it. You enjoy what? Give me your hand. Why? Give me your hand. She's okay. going to eat that, too. I am going to read your palm. Good. Courtesy of Wiley the Wizard. She knows all. You like eating phlegm balls. I see a girl. Yeah. She's pretty. She looks a little dumb, but she harbors deep thoughts about this nice man she's just met who makes her feel good. Mm. Even though he's feeling sad. Why is he eating oysters? I'm feeling sad. Uh, uh, uh. Never out of vitamin E. Shut up, don't shut now, where was I? Were, uh, Trying to make his voice right there, higher. Don't interrupt it. Yeah. Uh, I see a man. Who said that? He talks too much. Oh. And he thinks too much. And he doesn't know how to enjoy what's right in front of him. He's got uh, snail oysters? juice all over his hands. Make love to me. That happens um. to me. Well, if you don't well, wear t-shirts well, like that, maybe you'd get lucky, easy. too. Listen to me. What happened to the wizard? She's on a break. <laughs> There's going to be an evil twin up in her room or something. It feels good, baby. Do it. Oh, Sorry, words to live by. Hey. Thanks, Don. You know Mills. the words. Why don't you let me show you the ways? Made for TV hypnosis. Good. Family porn. Why don't you take me on a picnic tomorrow? One time. Mm. Now, let me Family call that you. stays together. Okay. Wait a Yeah? If it makes you feel better. Fill in your old blank. You can pay the check. What a gal. How much for the plum balls? I didn't know he liked women. You know, he was voted the world's most sexy man several times over. When I get to Earth, though, he'll probably get another two, three titles. Doesn't this guy own a TV set? <laughs> it just feels better when he cheats. You're not going to see stuff like that on cable. <laughs> staying at the police hotel. Each room carries a badge. It's the Judge Dredd suite. She's being followed by the Michelin man. It's that football team. I gotta go work on my letter. Satellite of love. Why, just the other day, I thought Joel had blown a ram chip for sure. For some reason, 
He hooked me up to a voltage generator and was running current through my shell. Well, I played along with his little jaunt into sadism, but I don't know how long that really I can really take this anymore. Hey, everything's set up good. Mm -hmm. You ready to let her loose, Crow? Ready to rip. Uh, thanks for making me the control group. Now, as for servo, how many volts do you feel like today? Crank it up. I can take it. I won't talk, though. You can fill my head with gummy bears, and I won't talk. This reminds me of when I was in Guam. Now, Servo, everybody knows that robots cannot feel pain. This is a little experiment to simulate that for you, since you want to know what it's like to be a human. This first setting that we've got is going to feel like what it's like to get uh, stub your toe. Go ahead, Crow. Okay. Ouch. Hmm. Okay, this next setting is the ex equivalent of experiencing a fiery Yugo crash. Go ahead, Crow. Ouch. Oh, hurt me. Mm. I'll okay. never talk. Don't you get it? Is this the best you can do, Mr. Salty? I say we take him to the top floor and drop him. <laughs> Let's take it to the Arsenio setting. <laughs> yeah, and besides that, he called me Mr. Salty, whatever that means. All right, this next setting, Servo, is going to be the equivalent of watching an hour of our senior hall with guests, Brooke Shields, Jackie huh? Collins, huh? and a curator from the Milwaukee Zoo. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. I'm gonna talk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, golly. Gal, I better unhook you here. <laughs> I love the smell of burning ram chips in the morning. It smells like victory well thanks a lot <laughs> sir well at least we found out what you could handle hey crow no hard feelings let's shake on it <laughs> talk about the decline and fall of western civilization i just have to keep reminding myself that he's just a human and he's got the key to the lubricant cabinet oh well commercial side this is tom servo announcing Hey, where's Joe? Oh, sorry. No. Mr. Belridge doesn't want me with the company. Nice jacket, man. He's been so nice. He says we're part of the family. So, uh, deliver a million in bookings in your family. Lose a few and, well, you know the rest. You're not finished, Dad. You're one of the best account salesmen in the business. That was last year. Last years don't count in business. Eldridge told me to get the Macaulay account or else. It's like telling a mule to fly. They did for Michael Jackson, though. Can't you talk to Macaulay? I can't even get anywhere near him. There's a party at Brennan's on Friday night. Macaulay's supposed to be there. I tried to get an invitation. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spoil your fun. I'm in a lousy mood. I'll work something out. Do you think he's wearing flared bottom pants? Let's hope not. Hey. Looks like a light beer commercial. I guess the quarterback would be carrying a pistol. Unless he was running a shotgun defense. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's for me. <laughs> She's the new girl. Boy, just let me help you with that, okay? Where'd you come from? They never say anything about you and the tourist guy. Well, that's maybe far, you've been far reading away. The wrong books. Well, now maybe I'm willing to switch. We well, eat guys like you for dinner. Maybe we can start then. All right. You got a deal. Weasel. It's a very hey. nice pool area. Sonny, you sure look good. <laughs> this is Sonny. You know that guy that got wasted last night? Yeah. I just heard some news. He was working undercover for league security. Do you think they're on to something? No. Hey, 
okay. It's not like you to worry. Now everything's moving. And we got our man on and the grooving. inside doing his number. And swinging. And it's a swaying. It's a compunction. At the junction. Here. What's your function? Conjunction, junction. What's Thank your you. function? It's one long cord. <laughs> he pulls it off the table. No. Nancy? Yes, it is. Nancy, I don't think I can make it for lunch today. Well, why not? Of course Because you're unattractive. Coach came up with a couple of new plays. I'm going to get them under my belt before tomorrow's scrimmage. Maybe I can shake loose for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Nancy. It's a Super Bowl, Mass. It's because you're it's the biggest game of my life. Locker room full of guys. Don't you get it, Mass? It's over. We'll be together again. Be good, Mass. I hope so. Okay, Dave. May I have your attention, please? The fashion show for the players' wives will start in 30 minutes in the East Room. For what for players' wives? Fashion, fashion show. More wives? What else can you drink? On the promenade deck. <laughs> More oysters? Nice. No, I couldn't slip down another one, thanks. Hmm. Mm, good wine, yeah, very good. Makes my lips hurt. Yeah, yeah. A sad man. Is that what I am? Well, you're a non-believer. <laughs> which means you are going to have to once again listen to the wisdom of Wiley. Lay it on me. Well, we'll have to improve it. Lay it on me. Now, <laughs> will you try what was that? just a minute? He's got a voice like a body being thrown through a bus window. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, miss. Yes, Miss Benny. Mike. Mm. Enjoy yourself. Oh, Rochester. You paid your dues. You're entitled to a little happiness. <clears throat> after me. Don't talk through your nose. Feels good. Oh, yeah. Feels, feels good. Do it. it. Ma'am. Just don't think it's that simple, baby. You can't go through life just following the signs. No trespassing. Keep off the grass. Sign, no sign, everywhere no smoking, a sign. No laughing, no Busting anything. up the scenery, yeah. breaking my mind. Do this. Just don't do that. Can't you signs. read the sign? Why not? I'm Go just sick it. about this. No wow, LSD flashback. Try it. Long, stupid dialogue. Okay. That's a good one to start out with. Enjoy. Feel. Touch. No right, no wrong. It feels, feels good, good to do it. Uh, 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 Show tryouts. It's Madame Shinobi from Uptown Saturday Night. That's not real. Makes Mardi Gras look like a high school homecoming celebration. Hope she doesn't snap her snake. Sounds like she believes it. Are whorehouses legal there? That's a Baskin Robbins. Oh. Think they're having as much fun as we do? I hope so. Hey, 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 hey. You know, I talk a lot about having fun and feeling good. I don't talk much about love. What do you think it feels like? It's the best way. Like this. Oh, wow. Right in the car.
Tonga. Lucy. He's flossing the lock. Is that anything like gleaming the cube? Yeah. Except you can't floss a lock on a skateboard. Can you floss a cat? No, but you can floss your mind. Mental floss? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> And for vegetarians, new lentil floss. <laughs> she's for wearing Barbara a, Streisand, it's lentil floss. And she's wearing a vegetable fiber uh, blanket. He was having a dream that she was eating cotton candy. Five minutes worth of football action, I'm guessing. Here's another one you can handle with discretion. The Super Bowl, actual time. Sorry, that's unfortunate. Maybe we'll be treated to a 3D halftime show. Ooh, excitement. The magic that is Elvis Presto. I heard it was much better in person. I resemble that remark. What did you say to him? He looked even more paranoid than usual. He isn't paranoid. He's got real enemies. You look like a man with real problems. You look like a woman with real potential. Have a cigar. Both those people were connected with the team. And you think there's some connection? Well, if I thought that, I'd have to think about who's next. I think it might be myself. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Open the drugstore? I just want something to sleep. What about narcolepsy? And speed. To get up in the morning, right? Just for a few days. I told you not to breathe tzitzi. I'll give you two for tonight, two for tomorrow. But no. Two more you're going to have to come back for. Try some of these, man. Hey, great. Mints down, kids. He forgot to lock it. Hey, hello. That's Jack uh, Wardner. Look, I, I'm uh, not going to be able to do it. F P T O Z L F E D. Some other way to pay you back. Come on, please. I, I, I promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. This is Nancy Wilecki. Is Dave there? Well, do you know where he went? Yeah, okay, uh, thanks. Hey, hey, Mama said the way you move gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Why are you seeing Black Dog? inspired me. Hey, we saw this shot already. Uh, She's still looking for her luggage. She wants to go on the jungle ride. Manzinghe, put me a cab. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sabu. Where to, ma'am? I don't know. Uh, I think maybe I'd just like to ride around, uh, find someplace nice to have a drink. I got just the spot. How about the St. Charles Inn in the Garden District? Sure. Whatever you say. It's okay. in New York. As long as there's someone there who thinks I'm attractive. Oh, well, let's go to Ernie's down by the wharf. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Did you hear about that stewardess they found last night? Yeah, I heard. You, uh, you think it's some kind of sex nut? <sighs> what else? The sun goes down and it's creepsy. <laughs> Me, I'm getting myself a gun and a Doberman. And a bazooka. And a gun for the Doberman. And I don't shower. I think you're wild. That's against the law. What is? Ghost Making blood? Making famous gin fizzes by yourself. Look at the beak on that guy. Miller. Buzz off, geek. Nancy Walecki. What do you mean, Whitley's pulling out? I paid him $5,000. He's giving it back. He says league security's all over the place. Maybe we can explain to New York. Explain? Explain what? Baby, they got $10 million on the ranges. And those guys aren't gamblers. Hey, you are P.K. Jackson. Right on, baby. What's P.K. stand for? Jackson. Pastor's kid. Oh. Dude who could move. The cattle really dug where it was at. Jigs, parties, plenty of fun. Mr. Elegance. <laughs> the wood and that a could. 60 yard runs every Sunday just to pay bills. P.K. Jackson. Superstar. Big man. Superstar. Pretty keen. You think that's going to make any difference to those dudes? I blew it. Baby. Baby. Peeling carrots. I blew it bad. You know something, Sonny? Nice ring. The worst part of it is, uh... Talking like a stereotype. They own me. You know, if his mustache was shaved and he was white, he'd look like David Copperfield. Hey, oh, man. Maybe he could make this movie disappear. He made a few careers disappear. I mean, they said, uh... Hey, why the long face? Okay, he's nothing to worry about, man. Remember, like smiles was the proud. Turned they up paid the bills. Sonny, that's... That's when I promised them that the Cougars were going to lose, and I cannot deliver. I'm kibble. Maybe. Maybe I got an idea. You could sell his remains to science. Cougars game. When he comes to the party, or Ralston party, Purina. I'll put something in his drink. To make Farina? No, no. That could be a little dangerous, I <laughs> Oh, man. They got me turning on my own friend. We're not gonna hurt him any. We're just gonna leave him a little sick and messed up for a couple of days. Just to throw him off the game a little, okay? No problem. Doesn't anybody button their collar? Okay. I sure hope nothing goes wrong. Nothing will go wrong, okay? And when we finished, we won't owe anything to anybody. He's got the face of a killer. And the body of Chumley. This doesn't come sound this good. Way. Let's cheap. get out of here. I can take him on. Hey, yeah, you.
All in all, though, Crow and Joel and Gypsy are not so bad to live with. Just a bunch of fun-loving guys locked in a decaying orbit with nothing to do but watch terrible films. Funny thing is, Joel's lovable on-air persona is nothing like his day-to-day -day demeanor. Like yesterday, after recharge, Joel sat us down for his weekly attitude talks. And boy, was he a little miffed. Hey, Gypsy, there's your drive train. It's a wonder you're even moving. You left it on the shower rod. Huh? How you move? Huh? Listen, just because you have to have your oil changed every week doesn't mean you own that shower. Okay. <laughs> now, you, Crow. Uh-oh, here comes Listen, the prod. You left your load pans out. I, um, After recharge, you know the rule. Well, it was Servo's turn to to uh, to take. I oh. told you, I'm not oh. doing your load. <laughs> Listen, I'm not normally this way. It's just Servo's perception of me. Boy, you're really crabby. You're next, Servo. What? I found gum underneath all of the theater seats. How do you know it was mine? It was Juicy Fruit. Okay, it was mine. But you'll never take me alive, Copper. Top of the world, Ma. I could have been a contender. Stella, Stella. I woke up. You weren't there. I hate that. I'm not going to be ignored, am I? Mary, Mary, don't you know me? Rosebud. Listen, Crow, Crow, I want you to clean that up. I'm going to be in my trailer. You know, Gyps, the problems of two little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. All I know is you're going to get on that plane. No matter what happens between you and me, well, we'll always have Paris. Paris? Paris. Well, here's looking at you, kid. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. 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 So, Kitty, my lieber shots. I'll leave you now, for I mustn't get in on Kino sign! the city is starting to reach fever pitch. People file six deep into bars and booze flows like water. There's not an empty hotel room for 50 miles. People are sleeping in cars and pitching tents in the park. Fans roam the streets, restless with anticipation. Every well, if they're pitching every tents, they would be. Got my jujubes. And Donald's the murderer. The street is a river of people. This is a town known for good times, but they've never seen anything like this. Thus getting rid of both the mystery and the science. A river of people and a pile of guys. Get a stir stick. If it feels good, do it. How can she be so calm? But if not if it means killing people. What is that? Come on, drink it. What is it? Come on, and drink it. She'll do marvelous things for you. It's booze. B O Z O Z Booze. Very good. I didn't know he did dialects. People are getting to be a habit with me. Mm. Didn't know he did old show, show tunes either. Are you gonna ask his phone? What questions? Answer the phone. Or commands? No, they won't. Answer the phone. Come on. President commands. Thank you. How does she Tom. keep her hair so nice? Hold it. Go ahead, Joyce. Uh, He's got an exuberant head. As soon as I can. Shot and killed our trainer with a 32. Just like the other murder. That's right. Please don't leave. No. Nobody hears anything. Nobody sees anything. Nobody hears anything. When I talk like this. Got him in a headlock. Awesome. I wonder if she found anyone who thought she was attractive. Okay. 
cab driver. She gave him an extra tip. Yeah, don't bet on the cougars. Whoa. He's a bumblebee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. You're gonna have to adjust my equilibrium function. Yeah, I know. Where have you been? I went out. Uh... What bunny hopping? I've been here since 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's almost midnight. You were sitting in a bar from 4 till midnight? No. No, I haven't been in a bar since 4 till midnight. I met a man. Man? What do you mean you met a man? I met a man. He bought me a couple of drinks. I went to his hotel room. What'd you do? Well, what do you think we did? Talk football? We went to bed together. We made love. Why? Why? Well, why not? You have your team, your buddies, your football, your Super Bowl. Well, hell, I went out and had sex. It felt good. So she did it. I wanted it to feel good. I wanted it to feel so good that I could forget you. That I, I could remember what it felt like to be wanted. Now I'm depressed. I felt so loved. Do you know what it's like to make love and feel all alone? Nancy. I think he does. What's happening to us? I have tried to tell you. Do you know what we are? Do you? You are an aging little boy who keeps saying, one more game, one more season, and I have arrived who's gonna be like all the others pretty soon. One more bar, one more drink, one more man. Don't talk like that. You know, Dave, you can take everything they dish out to you, everything but the truth. Now, maybe that's what it takes to be champions of the world. I really wish you a lot of luck in the Super Bowl. She's doing all she can to make him feel good. Feel good. Oh, that solves hey, everything. that's a lamp. It's good for your knee, too. No wonder his knee hurts. Kicking the cabinet every time he's mad. Save it for the game. Now, who's she gonna kill? I got a bad feeling about her. I think it's this camera angle. Or the wallpaper. St. Louis's fattest guitar player welcomes you. There's a big t-shirt shortage in this town. Best line we got. He's been keeping those girls off Macaulay all year. But what are we talking about, Scott? Season <laughs> four, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Why don't you give me just a minute or two, all right? All right, I'll go outside and get myself a beer, okay? Yeah. See you there. Duncan. The 
that set of keys is set to go off. I got this friend that's an orderly at the hospital. He's selling semi-private rooms for $100 a night. Cops say they're closing in on the killer. They couldn't close in on their own rear ends. They couldn't find a crook at San Quentin. Well, I think they could close in on their own rear ends. What's happening with, with both the hands in a room full of mirrors? A couple of guys, two squad cars. It could be done. Another 100 on the Cougars. Is that Prince's car? Get up on top of me like you used to in the old days. Well, hello, Mr. City Council. How did you make it? Right? Play it like Conrad Jennings and his all girl band. Keep this country great. Hey, Moses. Hey, what's that? You can make it. Hey, man, I'm sorry you're not playing. Yeah, well, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> I've got a bundle on this one, huh? Nothing to worry about. Just win that game, Sonny. Take care. If you can. Hey, Sonny. I got the stuff. Listen, it's no big thing. It's only dangerous if you mix it with booze. Well, McCauley's a health freak. He doesn't make anything stiffer than ginger ale. So we'll knock him off his stride a couple of days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sonny. You be careful with that stuff, all right? Okay. Hello. Hello. Is this your beloved secretary again? The time you call these days, I expect to hear it's the end of the world. Sorry, boss. We're, we're short one offensive tackle for Sunday. Scott Henderson's just been arrested for that stewardess's murder. Butkus. They arrested Butkus. Finally, we get to see him. Nice shirt. Head. Scotty? Mike, I swear I never went near that girl. I went to sleep early that night. Now, how can I murder somebody if I'm fast asleep? Well, the cops aren't as logical as you and me, Scotty. As opposed to being slow asleep. How about your roommate? Can he testify for you? I don't have a roommate. I snore and nobody likes to room with me. So the road secretary gave me a single. Girl's nightgown, her room key. I never saw that stuff. Somebody must have planted them there and phoned it into the cops. Mike, you believe me, don't you? Yeah, I believe you, but I'm not candidate for foreman of the jury this week. Well, what am I going to do? I'll make you something. For the hell, if this comes to worse, I'll change it to Tampa and they'll never hear of you again. Well, you can always do commercials. Inside football joke, gotta love it. to share the company of such a pretty lady with his friends. Maybe he thinks we're made for each other. Maybe you just called me a weak moment. Well, why don't we get some food and you can get your strength back, all right? Sure. Uh, Brooksy? Yeah. What's going on? Uh, you know how it is. Y'all want to meet the star. Now, why don't you just give her a couple minutes to warm her up to the kid, all right? Oh, I don't know. She looks like a nice lady, Brooksy. Well, now, do you think I can find a lady that I didn't respect? Huh? Come on, let's go. Some party. Yeah, when it comes to throwing 
parties, PK is in a class by himself. Thank you, son. Buddy. How are you? Bye. Hey, baby, just make yourself comfortable. Let's hey, party. I have a message for you. From New York? Come on. <coughs> that stuff will kill you here. Try this. Uh-oh. You okay? Better. <laughs> need any threats. I don't threaten, BK. I take care of business. Oh? You're trying to tell me that, uh, you kill those three people? That's right. I don't believe it. Why not? Because I'm a woman. We've come a long way, baby. In a lot of ways. We can bring over the bacon and uh, fry it up in a pan. Uh. So you better make sure you take care of Macaulay. Have a lovely party. I don't think he can do it. Let's uh, talk about it inside, okay? Sit down. Okay. I think you better lie down and get some rest, huh? We'll talk about the contract. You just get some rest. Are you going? She's Maybe feeling better. all dopey. Bye. It makes me giggly. Jim. It always makes me so funny inside. She is just about to get her second one. Let me have it, all right? Huh? Hey, Jim. I guess we're going to Well, Hello, sweetheart. How you doing? It's Jim. I just talked to him about the contract. He's outside. Now, you don't you worry about him. I ain't going to let you stay in here by yourself. I'm funny. Doing just great. Just no more booze for tonight, all right? Mm. No more chlorohydrate either. What a gorgeous lady, old lady. Aren't you something else, huh? Mm. Mm. You smell so nice. You look Wouldn't so it be great if she puked on her? Keep spinning her, she will. We dancing. That's what we do. We dancing. I gotta go. I hate these parts. It's just not fair when she's on coral. Penetration defense. You open your eyes, huh? Gail? Gail. Perhaps I've been a little bit hard on my Overton compatriots. Joel's really okay, and so is Gypsy and Cambot, and, well, you know, I really love Crow, too, though I'd never tell him. If you really want to know, we've had some great times here on the Satellite of Love, too. Quality times. The kind of times which only come around once in a lifetime. The kind of times you only see. In the not, in the not too distant future, next Sunday, A.D., 
There was a guy named Joel, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. When you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end. Because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends. Robot roll call camera. Servo. Gypsy. Crow. If you're wondering how he eats and breathes. It's just a show I should really just relax For oh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 Dear Uncle Wally Well, it's been nearly a third of a year since Joel invented me and Wait a minute that's right, Joel invented me. My experiences are simulated. I don't even have an Uncle Wally. Dear, to whom it may concern. Well, it's been nearly four months since Joel invented me, and even though he didn't give me working arms, luckily I can type with my feet. I thought it was about time to write and let you know how things have been hanging here on the satellite of love. Looking forward to my first trip to Earth, let's face it, dehydrated mango juice just isn't the same, especially when you have to rub it on yourself. But I have to face facts. A trip to Earth is a long way down the line. Just yesterday... They got the wrong one. You want to get moving? When I start an IV, get some blood. You want to be hot, w? Right. Got a bad oyster. Do you think we're ever going to get any football action in this movie? A lot of people keep dying like this. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Green, Gail's father. I got a phone call. How is she? She's still in emergency, Mr. Green. I'll let you know as soon as we have any words. Hey, he's actually wearing a sport coat that doesn't... Mr. Green? I'm Jim Green. McCauley. This is Pete Brooks. I was with Gail at the party. Now, I don't know what happened She's to her. She's my daughter. My baby. What did you do to her? Take it easy. Do yourself a favor. Take it easy. Take a deep breath. You're right. It works. Can I count to ten now, too? Oh, my career, my career. Uh, I know you can't think about business now, Mr. Green, but Gail was trying to talk to me about that ad contract. Maybe when she's feeling better, we can get together and maybe work things out, okay? It worked. There's the okay. smile. Uh, get me New York, 555-6561. Yeah, blind. Jason, Laney, PK Blewett. Jason, I know what's at stake. Jason plays for a hockey team. Yes, I know there are only 24 hours to the game. I said so right on the screen. I take care of Macaulay my own way. Don't call. Right. The fan club. I'll yeah. in touch. 2505 Kennedy Street, Northeast Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55413. May I have your attention? Ma'am, we're boarding now. Call flight 271. There's several call. people waiting on standby, ma'am. Do you think I'm board. attractive? Last call flight 271. Arlen. Do you think I'm attractive? Nancy, <laughs> don't go. Please. I can't make it without you. I don't care if Nancy, you slept with another man. Sure is a good man. That's why I've been running away. I'm scared, and I don't know what I'm going to do. What are you scared of? 
You, you're really ugly. Is it the game? No. I dreamed about this game all my life. You can be all pro, you can make a million bucks, but this is the big one. What I'm scared about is what happens when it's over. There aren't any more seasons for me, Nance. You'll get a job coaching black kids at a Watts High School. Was it School, all for? Was it just a kid's game? No. No, it wasn't a kid's game. For 12 years, I always knew who I was. Number 25 for the Cougars. What happens tomorrow? If I'm not number 25, who am I? Your number one was me. A zero. Is that what she wanted to hear? I'm nothing. I love you. Dave Alexi. A man. You were my husband. And I don't care what you Is do. Is she standing for in a hall? You will always be my hero. Oh, don't you know that? You're my knight in shining armor, Norman. You are old poop. Oh, come on, folks. Let's let's wrap this puppy up. Come on. We know what happens here. Got a big red commercial. Come on. She's got a plane to catch. Quit it, swabbing her tonsils with your tongue and get on with it. But it is a big red commercial. Harry. Harry, one of my ball players is in jail. He's a killer running around the wall. The police seem to think the murder is in custody. Ah, come on, Scott Henderson's not guilty of anything except snoring. But tomorrow we got 75,000 people in the dome and we got a psycho on the loose. Well, what do you want me to do, Mike? Harry, you're a timid soul and I love you. But you are also the president of the league. That means you control the security force that's the best in the country. Tony Sakota's one of yours. Let's start with him. Dick. Oh, we got our usual number of tips and rumors. Bribes, what? sixes, mad bombers. They almost always turn out to be bum steers, but we have to check them out. And Tony, well, Tony got a little carried away. And he put in some wiretaps at the hotel without checking with a federal officer for court approval. Some of those taps were running wild after Tony was killed. So, what does that mean? Well, it means he had some permanent taps hooked up to an automatic monitor. Oh, well, we've got tips on a number of people, P.K. Jackson included. And Tony locked continuous tapes onto some of those phones. So where are the tapes? Mike, those tapes were unauthorized. Come on, Harry, it's not illegal to listen. Might prevent another killing. Where are they? Security headquarters. Where's that? Downstairs. Let's go. Behind the bar. That's Chip from uh, My Three Sons, you guys. We know what he has. Larry Livingston. Not Chip, well, Ernie. Maybe you'll be interested Stanley in Livingston. It's... Well, maybe not. Looks like Ernie. Look, I'm doing the best I can. There's 10 million rides, PK. This thing better be locked up. You dig? Look, there's, uh, there's really nothing to worry about. Tell New York it's faded. I got a man on the inside. Then how can you sound all uptight? Be nice to yourself. If it feels good, do it. That's his clue. The call probably came from a public booth, but I don't know who the lady is. No, I say I'm a... Front desk. Miss Laney Wiley, please. I'm sorry, Miss Wiley checked out. Come on in, it's open. Mike. Hey. 
Sit down up this early. Security bugged your phone. You want to tell me the reason? What the hell, man? It just kind of got away from me. You're a member of the team. One of the guys, a friend of mine. Why? Go on, why? The cash, man. I mean, you can only have so much body jewelry. Oh, I thought that was soap on a rope he forgot to take off. What can I say? He could use a navel ruby. What can you say? Could use some buttons. Talk about not beating the bulldog. What? I'm not running anymore. What does Laney have to do with it? She's running it for the guys in New York. Mike, she killed those people. Where is she now? I don't know. She gave me a call after the party the other night. She's a little sore because I uh, messed things up. Says she's gonna fix it herself. She's gonna see to it that the cougars lose no matter what it takes. I can't say anything funny about this. I'm just at a loss. Can you? Not funny at all. What about you? Mm. Hey. Well, hey, where you going? the scientists are you punishing us there. because of you, Crow. Power what did I do? You called them dickweeds and did the neck bubble thing and the, the, the date hook thing, and we could have been out of here, man. Something against females? No. You goof. No, not a thing. Why don't you put your head between your knees and do a backflip? <laughs> or something. I don't know. Maybe you should have said that to them, too. Maybe they're going to turn the temperature up here to just below boiling. Oh, shut up, you barrel-bodied bu bubble head. Hey, come on, you guys. I think Bert Convy's gonna show up next to this. Well, that's all we need. Stunts have really elevated since high school. It used to be enough just to put itching powder in the jocks. Now they got electrocuted. Or cherry bombs in the toilet. Salt, Peter. No thanks. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one too. Putting your hand in scalding hot coffee. Putting jello in the urinal. The tub's now a magnet. It's gonna go after PK. Oh, you know what that feels like. Yay! Hooray! Yay! Well, they, they won the game. Let's go home. Oh. Oh. You can leave anyway, Crow. I'm waiting for you. Can we take this outside? Just hold on. It's the last segment. I love you, Crow. Boy, I was this... thinking about it, and I, I love you like a brother, man. He's moving on his daughter. Good, finally some action. Not too good. Gail, why did you go to that party? Was it for me? wanted you to have that contract. Thought if I talked to Macaulay that... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Dad, I'm sorry. Don't I'm you sorry. know if you go to a football team party, you're bound to get drugged? <laughs> if I told you anything during your life, that was it. Boy, this thing has turned out to be a real yawn fest. Probably. Who are you talking to? Most of our home viewers have tuned away anyway. <laughs> oh, that's right. Hey, where is everybody?
The Guthrie. Notice how we still don't see any football stuff. We'll probably have some stock NFL footage, and then it'll be over. We can only hope. But this isn't bad. Must have cost a fortune for me. The Santa Cruz High School Marching Band. Somebody has to gun her down. Gonna have a problem with that escalator. Team. Looks like they're at Circus Circus. Michael, get out of my way. What are you gonna do, shoot me? If I have to. All right, lady, I believe you. You're a very convincing lady. You killed three people, now you're gonna have to kill me. Get out of my way! Why'd you come here? I think she loves him. Nice triangle music. It's rare you find a part that good. It's like the end of Dirty Harry. Or that Warren Beatty movie. I love scaffolding sequences. Heaven should have waited longer? Mm, no. You know the one. Shampoo? Mm. Ishtar? Ishtar. Let's not bring that up. Has 
anybody even seen a football? It's a football movie for the football illiterate. Now what could happen thousands of feet above the stadium floor? She could scrub kickoff real bad. She could pop the blimp. She could do a half gainer. Flashback. My anxiety. Mike, help me get down from here. She's gonna tell drive. me why you came to the dome, lady. Help me, please. All right, tell me why you came in. I rigged a whirlpool to get Macaulay. Help me. Please. All right, give me a hand. Lady, give me a hand. Put it there. Put it in. Come on. Come on, put it in. Work like a chicken. Give me the other one. Something before that is give me the gun. I think would be a good a good place to start on this one. Here, you take it. He's got a gun. See if you can get the locker room on that radio. What's happening? They're trying to electrocute Macaulay. Red alert. Red alert. That was close. Oh, here's your ginger ale. What is this, a Christian being held by a heathen? That ought to be good for some extra points. Someone else is going to get it. The water boy. the water magnum deep fry Sometimes good comes out of bad. You know, Macaulay's agent tells me his man is ready to go. All you gotta do is call him and say the word, huh? Boy, you pulled off a high school for us. Fellas, I want you to meet Chip Green. This guy is a real asset to the company. This man is the B-E-S-T. It's a pleasure, Chip. Hi, Chip. Chip, I bet you didn't think you could do it. No, no, no. I know, I had to light a little fire underneath you, press all the right buttons, get you to sweat a little bit, you know, run scared. Damn it, you came through, just like I knew you would. Right? You creep. What? My daughter nearly killed herself to get your lousy account. All right, it's natural for you to be upset, but everything worked out all right, didn't it? All you gotta do is call Macaulay, and bing! <laughs> you can make your own clothes, George. Oh, I already got me. my bonus. It's it's of a lung biscuit. She's worth a hundred of you. And you know something, George? That anywhere. I think it's Van Morrison's Have tie. Fun. I hear it's gonna be a hell of a game. Cost of Van Morrison's tie? Chip? I mean, Van... Johnson. Van Johnson. Mike? Got some good news. 
Scott Henderson. Released from jail. Gonna be suited up for the game. Police made a deal with PK. He's gonna turn state's evidence. Good. Sorry about the girl, Mike. So, uh... They signed the team over to the new owners this morning. I'm gonna be president. I'd like you to stay around to found as general manager. Douglas, I worked for the Benelli's for 15 years. Don't think I can make the switch. So I'm gonna go home. To do what? Sit around, fish a little. Eat some catfish. Figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. I know whatever you do. I've been running the Cougars. No chance. Hey, Mike, I need you. Do it you. until it feels good. These new owners, they're corporations. Wherever you go. What do they know about football? There you are. You show them an all-pro cornerback, and what they see is a capital asset depreciable over the next 10 years. Only two letters off. You want your football team to be run by a, a brewery conglomerate? Is this the Doug Collins I know? Oh, I'm sure I'm supposed to be a human computer that goes to sleep dreaming about dollars. You want to know something? In 10 minutes, the football game's going to start. And I'm going to be just like every 10-year-old little kid, hoping that his team wins. Me too. Let's see a ball game. That means it'll happen after the movie's done. We can only hope. Peter Brooks. She's with another guy already. That's sick. Looks like everything's gonna be okay. The game's still fixed, you realize. Yeah, well. Ready for the game, Mike? Ready for the game, Oh, come on, Mike. It's the Super Bowl. It's Fox Mom. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for the national anthem? Betty, Bud, Kathy. <laughs> Super Bowl. Three hours from now, the game will be history. But the lives of the players and fans alike will never be quite the same. Who won? I know I'll never be quite the same. This movie's history. We're history. Let's go. Who won? Who won? Who won the game? been out I've been in the theater this whole time and uh, because of the so many words that Servo has had for this show he's in sick bay right now that's right hey we got a lot of great uh, viewer response for the fan club thing a lot of cool drawings too cam out you want to bring it up on the still store let's take a look at it. this oh. one is from a guy we don't know who you have to write back to us and tell us who made this poster but it's super cool right it says Joel Hodson's worst nightmare there's us in the watching it and then the caption reads, who are those guys watching us? And, uh, oh, there's the Slant Six Swinger. <laughs> cool. Mango juice, a big cargo of mango juice. And then it says, hey, someone's watching us. And then Gamera, or that creature's saying, let's step on them. Really super. There's another one of Servo. 
Great Maybe drawing. Looks like Servo, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's one of you, Crow. Looks just like me. Yeah. Great. That's from Kelly. I got feet. This is a kind of a montage of Gamera and the Metallica and uh, me in a kind of Transformer outfit and you and... There's something in uh, Servo's head. Yeah, that's a change. And this is from a woman who uh, says, just wanted to tell you guys, your show is super. You guys are funny. Keep up the good work. It's from Dawn Shepard. Thanks, and Dawn. And then she says, Joel, who does your hair? This guy says that his dog looks like you, Crow. You think so? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a similarity. Yeah. Anyway, well. uh, thanks a lot for writing in. We really love your letters and your cards, and they've been really good. And uh, this is the MST3000 newsletter, formerly the Binding Polymer. There's the fan club information. If you write in, you get this uh, honorary fan club certificate with us cool. on it. You get the Mystery Science 3000 satellite news. And you get your Mystery Science Theater 3000 card. So right in. For carrying in your wallet. So thanks a lot, everybody. Good night. Night.